Sagittarius. Welcome to to our readings by Roxby. I am here to do your weekly love and general reading for the week of July 10th to the 16th, 2017. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe. So guys, just keep in mind if the reading does not resonate with you, look at your moon, your rising signs. And those of you that would like a private reading with me, my contact info is always below the videos. This week I chose Larso, bleh, Los Arbetos, um, the Mucha Tarot, beautiful deck. Okay, nice. And for the overall energy for the week, you guys have the Knight of Cups. So this could be an emotional offer. that comes in for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be love, but definitely it could be an emotional gesture. You know, it's, it's an offer, you know, either, you know, being made, you know, by you or, you know, from someone else. But it's a nice, you know, emotional offer coming through. And you start off the week with the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, you know, there's another offer. You know, it is movement. You're definitely, you guys are definitely moving, moving forward. But for some of you, there's some, there's, could be a slight pause. And it, and it definitely has to do with a decision. These are either waiting to end something and start something new. You're, you're either trying to make a decision, you're waiting for a decision to come through for you. you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, you know, it is the slowest, you know, he is the slowest moving knight in the tarot. So some sort of, of, of pause and movement, you know, an offer that is presented for some of you is paused for whatever reason, but we do see, you know, with the Knight of Cups that there is going to be movement. You know, it may be slow at the beginning of the week, you know, but things are definitely, you know, progressing, moving forward. Um, you know, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Maybe a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But Scorpio is coming through pretty strong with the Death card. You know, so with the Death card, you know, it's definitely... You know, there could be an end to your employment. You know, you know something's definitely coming to an end. You know, it's coming to an end because it's no longer serving you. You know, it's time to move on. You know, sometimes, you know, I do see a lot of you know, hesitation in this, in this spread too. You know, sometimes it, it is necessary to you know, take our time when moving through changes. You know, death is also a card of, of transformation. You know, transforming where things aren't going to be the same as they were in the past. And with the Five of Wands, you know, this is competition. Um, you know, this is, you know, jealousy. Jealousy within the workplace. I do feel like for a for some of you, you really are desperately trying to find a job. You 
you know, with the Five of Wands, you know, there could be a lot of competition, you know, in trying to get this job, land this new job. There's a lot of, you know, competition around that. You know, you could be trying to get a promotion. You know, there's competition and jealousy surrounding that. Maybe for others of you, you know, you're... Well, the Page of Cups is under that, too. And then so is the Seven of Wands. You know, and the Five of Wands being there and the Seven of Wands, you know, that that would be, you know, like a, a lot of battling, a lot of fighting. You know, for some of you, you really could be, you know, these could be you know, two different people. You know, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or Virgo. Taurus, Capricorn, that you're trying to decide between Archangel Michael, you have to decide to be happy now. So this is about you know detaching yourself from drama, detaching yourself from what no longer serves you. It's also expecting a miracle within something in your life this week. You know, it's, you're gonna. It's it's opening your heart to new love. If this if this is a new romance, a new love offering, absolutely. With the page of cups being under here, I do feel like a lot of you are dealing with with a, with a water sign. Um, you know, but somebody feels stuck. That you know, there's somebody feels stuck. There's indecisiveness going on here with. Dolphins and the mermaids make a decision feeling stuck or indecisive. Listen to your intuition and make a decision. You know, it's like you're at an impasse. You don't know which way to go. But you're definitely fighting for something. There is something that you definitely want. You're standing your ground. You definitely, definitely, there's something that you really, really want and you're really willing to fight for it. But somebody is really feeling stuck, indecisive. And instead of really, just like on this card, you know, really... You know, just letting life push you around, just like this canoe is, you know, without any, without any oars. You know, like, take charge of your life, you know, decide to be happy now. Make the decision. You know, that's why there's so much, this is so slow moving because... You know, nobody's making any decisions. Um, like every, but really, like nobody's moving. Nobody's doing anything. This could be internal struggles too, with the five of wands. You know, struggling internally to make this decision. But listen, angel answers. It's it. There is no need to worry about making the wrong decision. This is success. You don't need to have any reservations about about whatever this situation is for you. Because with this card, it's all working out beautifully. And it will, as soon as somebody makes a decision. All right, love and relationships. 
Whispers of Love, Angela Hartfield, The Heart of the Matter, There is More Going On Than Meets the Eye, Recognize What This Is All About. So you're definitely communicating, you know, you're definitely moving forward, you're getting to the heart of the matter, because you're getting, you're, you're taking time this week to, to get to the real issues of the situation. Because sometimes at the very heart of the situation really does lie the truth of what's going on. Be honest. Be willing to do whatever it is necessary to take care of this. And I honestly see you guys doing that, especially with the Seven of Wands being under there. And the Five of Wands, you're fighting for this happiness, for this success. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So this could be very much so a karmic relationship, if it's in your relationship with this with a water sign or an earth sign. Someone you know. Maybe, you, you know, not necessarily did you have to have had a romantic relationship with them in the past, but you definitely know this person. They're around you. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, I kind of saw that coming. But, you know, also with separation, you know, you know, not everybody's breaking up. But, you know, if, if this resonates with you, you'll know it. You know, separation could even be, and I use, you know, my own life as an example. My husband drives truck for a living. We're separated that way, through work. It could be something like that. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Some of you definitely are ending relationships for new, for new relationships. Ending a relationship for a new one. That could really be a karmic... But somebody's definitely struggling to make a decision. I'm going to pull you guys an additional guidance card. Oracle of the Unicorns. Beautiful deck. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. July 10th to the 16th. 2017. Additional guidance for Sagittarius. Okay. That card really wants to come out because it fell on the floor. Sorry. Hold on. Okay, intention. Awesome. Beautiful card. Clarity. All right? Be clear. It says at the bottom of the card, be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe. When you really focus on what it is that you want with that laser sharp clarity. Isn't this card just absolutely beautiful? I mean, there's so much to this card, but when you do focus on what you really, really want, you do have the, the power, like the magician, to manifest create, move mountains this week, literally, with this card. You know, what, what right now might seem so far out of reach for you, you know, if you really believe it with all of your heart, you know, and, and, and like command it with clear intention, you know, to the universe that will bring you that courageous action, you know, to take, you know, to take action, to make that decision, to decide to be happy now, you know, you're, you're, 
You're focused. It may not feel like it at the beginning of the week, but toward the end of the week, your intentions are crystal clear. Your clarity is crystal clear. You're empowered. And, and really successful. Beautiful. Empower, empowered and successful this week. All right, Sag, I hope this reading helps you guys out for the week. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to view the video. Have a beautiful, blessed week. I will see you guys back here shortly with the Oracle cards. Take care. Bye-bye.